episode six of the forecast. The forecast. Episode six. We're gonna talk all about sexual experiences. My first, my lasts, maybe. Um, I've shared all these on TikTok, but uh, some of these get taken down from there, so you may not have heard them. Start with my first nice blow J happened in high school. Gorgeous Catholic school chick, fucking skirt outfit and everything. Super baked, skip school, watching Cheech and Chong, up in smoke, I think it was. And I was so stoned, I couldn't even hold a boner. And I lost my boner. And uh, it wasn't just the weed and the nerves. I mean, high school blowjobs were fucking terrible. I don't think I ever came from a high school blowjob. And I'm sure high school pussy eating was terrible too for the girls too. I mean, I, she, I don't think she came either. But uh, yeah, that was, actually no, I, I lied, that wasn't my first blowjob. My first blowjob, I must have been four or five years old and we're in my buddy's little crawl space and we come across some of his dad's porno magazines. And our little, little kid home hormones are going crazy and uh, we come to this agreement like we're gonna trade three sucks each and, uh, and then we'll get out of there. So I get, me, I get my three sucks and then uh, kid pulls down his pants and it's like shocked and scared me. It was uncircumcised at the time. I had no idea what that was or why it looked so terrifying and what was all the cheese on it. So I just pretended like I heard somebody coming and I was like, oh, there's somebody coming. And then I ran out of the crawl space, ran home and I've been stealing sucks ever since. So that was the first blow job. Um, Let's see here. First time I fingered a girl. I was dating this 17-year-old chick and I was 14. Felt like a real baller. Everybody wanted to get with this girl. Tall, skinny, blonde. Turned out she was just anorexic with fucking mental health issues. But, uh, so I'm fingering this girl. We're, like, drinking and stuff. And, uh, kissing her neck. And I look up and she's fucking sleeping. And I mean, that, and I had no technique. It was just in, out, in, out. You know, none of that come here shit. There's no, no squirting. No fucking squirt action. Nothing like that. And she's asleep. So I just, I kept fingering her for another 30 seconds just for the fuck of it. And then you gave a little smell and a lick and uh, that was the end of that night. And getting laid for my first time. Traumatic, all of these are traumatic. Uh, the blowjob too, comedy intertwined with all of them too. The blowjob, Cheech and Chong, uh, watching Patch Adams is when I did that little finger action. And then losing my virginity, the water boy, Adam Sandler. And, you know, I, I understand R. Kelly, why he's so obsessed with the 14-year-old pussy, because uh, I fucked this 14-year-old girl in time of my life. I came so quick, and, uh, I mean, I was 15, too, so it could be a little, little different there, but I'll never forget it, uh, because she cried after. Yes, she cried, because it was such a beautiful moment, or that's what she was trying to put on. She's like, was I good? Was I good for a first time? And I was like, oh, you're lovely. I came so quick, and you see the size of that load? It's huge. And uh, she's like, oh, okay. And then I find out we were supposed to be virgins, is what she told me, that we were trading our virginities. Turned out she'd fucked so many people in her last town that she had to, she moved to Aurora, that was why. But she was hot. First fuck, first blowjob, first pussy eating. I don't even know if I remember. It was probably a terrifying experience. Uh, I remember eating a bunch of chocolate sauce off a chick's pussy, but it just looked just looked like there was shit all over it. And then even my mom was like, why is there shit all over this towel? And I was like, no, it's chocolate sauce. I was eating it off a girl's pussy. And then, uh, what other sexual experiences? Oh, a perfect one. So I went back to high school to get my last credit, like summer school. My girlfriend was proud of me. So she showed up at the end of the day dressed like a sexy, slutty teacher. Took me to the stage of the gymnasium, like that movie, uh, That's My Boy, Adam Sandler, he fucks the teacher on the stage, except there was no audience this time. I'm on a chair, she's bouncing on me, and then I bust a nut inside of her, and then she squish, pushes it out onto the floor, and then I'm like, we gotta clean this up, I don't wanna get in trouble. And there's nothing, no towels, no paper towels, nothing to clean it up, all they find are these rugs, these little rugs, so we wipe all the cum up with the rugs, and the next day, uh, lunch, I'm playing basketball with some of the brothers, and I'm bragging, like, oh, I fucked my chick on the stage, and they're like, no, you didn't, I'm like, no, I'll show you, come over here, and then I open it up, and a bunch of Muslims just praying, face first in my cum rags. Unbelievable. Felt like a god of, this, of some sort. And uh, another time, another good fuck story. I was on house arrest, so I could only leave to go to like uh, drug counseling or school, whatever. So I get my chick to meet me at the, the portables, these portables at this random fucking high school that's on the way to my thing. So we fuck on the little wooden stairs, the portables. She's on her period. 
And uh, by the time we're done, there's blood and cum everywhere. And I'm like, I'm not keeping these boxers. So I just hang them on the railing on the stairs there. And then I get home, I start to get paranoid. Like what if a cop, the janitor, somebody sees these bloody cummy boxers and then they call the police thinking there's some kind of sex crime. And then they do the DNA and find out it's mine. And then they think I've done something and I'm supposed to be on house arrest. What am I doing out fucking on these portable steps? And then luckily nobody, uh, nothing like that happened. Just paranoid. And I guess I think that's probably about it. We're just pulling in here. So we're going to wrap up the Fordcast episode six. Hold on to your dicks until next time. Thank you.